Hello everybody, Roscoe here, and welcome back to Democracy 3, and this is part 4. Um, I haven't, obviously I've recorded these, these last four episodes in one sitting, so I'll get the results from you guys, whether you want to see me continue on with the UK National Unity Party, or will we just put it to bed. But anyway, we managed to make good progress in the last uh, episode, well the last four episodes, the last three, sorry, and um, we've kind of curbed most of the problems that people were having no longer going up it's no longer going down and uh, yeah we're just trying to see what well how we get on with things here so i've obviously increased the police funding by reducing community policing bringing that right down uh it's going to take a wee while to drift on down um the liberals are going to get pissed off with it and yeah just liberals are going to get pissed off but i i can afford to lose a little smidge off the liberals. I mean, uh, and if it ends these ghettos, then hey man, we're only a winner, aren't we? And then also implemented some uh, bus subsidies and stuff like that, and hopefully we'll bring this general strike down because it's, it's fucking killing us right now. We're almost at the stop trigger. That's where I want to get it to. So I'm going to save my seven, and we are going to sorry seven uh, cap political capital or political power. And we're going to carry on into the next, the next term or the next uh, quarter. So, sorry, I just seen the bikes, which is fine. Right, let's go for it. I'm going to go next. Here we go. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Crime's down. Crime has gone down. Yes. So we're finally, finally getting a grip on this. Uh, so that we're still a CC, and the Human Rights Society says it's actively encouraging its members to oppose the current government. Uh, they're supportive of us, and uh, sorry. Uh, so this is our cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can be best described as supportive. We're now up thirty percent. Uh, we're slow but surely getting there. Now, and that's because of this uh, this crime. We've got a little thing here saying superhero. News stations are buzzing with reports of a cake man has been seen fighting crime in our cities. Already a number of high profile arrests have been un unofficially attributed to the masked stranger. It's a sign of how bad things have become on our streets that our citizens are turning to superheroes for help. However, the fact that we're reducing the crime, which in turn is helping everything else out, is a good thing. And I think that you could probably attribute the crime rate going down to the fact that we're starting to give a little bit more police spending. Uh, we need 25 in order to arm them with tasers. Uh, Loka is still doing its fine. It's fine. I'd like to see the whole s the whole thing on that. Sorry, I've got the news on as well, running through, seeing what's uh, going on with the, the old Brexit. Um. Let's have a look. Why is that affecting the Conservatives? Why is that... Oh, it's adding to it, is it? <coughs> Legalise LSD. Really? You can fucking tax that, too. Uh, is there anything else we can add? I'll, I still want to try and get the crime rate down. And I still need to try and boost their money. How else can we do it? Is there anything that I can do right now that's free? Euthanasia. I don't want to piss the Liberals off because I'm going to be pissing them in with some of the policies that I've got coming in as well. Prisons. Did we get state prisons? Hey, probably private prisons, that one, yeah.
Who does that piss off? Trade Unionist. It's a Trade Unionist that's got the strike going on it. Let's have a look. Oh god man, I just need this down. Still this poor earnings. You've got bus subsidiaries. But it's drifting. Child benefit, income tax, legal aid, rail subsidies, sales tax. I don't understand, is it... What is the biggest concern? It's obviously wages. Wages is causing it. It's in the... That's causing it. That's not... Car usage, air travel. How can we get this up? Sales tax. Where's that again? Is that it there? Sales tax. Sales tax is a classic regressive tax, which means it does not take into account the ability to pay. Critics argue that this affects the poor disproportionately and thus increases inequality. Supporters argue that this is relatively easy to collect and affects everyone, and thus, and thus fair. Businesses can be opposed to the administration burden of the tax. It's not very popular if I even change that remotely. Poverty goes up. Inequality, poor earnings goes down. Alright, so yeah. I can get money from that. Fucking hell, look how much money I would lose by doing that. So let's revert those changes. I ain't gonna fuck around with that. What else can we do? <clears throat> what about tourism? Encourage tourism. Tourism may partially depend on how low how low air travel costs, which can have implications for pollution and CO two so uh, things. Yeah, crimes fucking pissing everybody off. These street gangs, foreign relations. <laughs> yeah, because fucking I'm implementing that thing. Currency strength. Hmm. What's that? International trade? International trade, how can we get more money? What's that? Border controls... International relations, that's foreign aid, that one. Foreign aid, I'm pretty sure I fucked around with that, didn't I? Yeah, I lowered it, I believe. And the way I see it, with foreign aid right now, especially with fucking 100 billion in debt... Charity begins at home. Pisses liberals off. Pisses foreign... Like everything goes right down to normal. If I see if I were to just cancel this policy... We would save... We would save over 5 billion. I've cancelled it. No more foreign aid. No more foreign aid. Recreational dogs tax, that's pretty much legalising everything, isn't it? It's not very popular though. Okay, let's have a look at this free eye test. Eye test catch problems early and advise those with advise those with poor eyesight that need glasses. Getting your eyes tested privately can be expensive and it's a luxury many people just do without. Socialists believe that the universal provision of eye free eye tests are essential in providing a health health safety net for all. I'm going to implement it, but we'll put it on a, the lowest kind of thing here. Which doesn't piss too many people off when poverty goes down and poor earnings goes up and all the rest. It's just it's only a million or one billion. I think we'll get that from that foreign aid anyway. We're saving 45 or something out of that. Let's apply those changes. And that's us down to zero. Um, alcohol abuse. Alcohol consumption. Fucking hell, it's up, man. Alcohol consumption is fucking up to the tits. It's 
So if we tax it a little bit more, I think I might tax it a little bit more in the next quarter, which is what we're going to do. So let's advance this. You sure? Yeah, man, I mean, we need to get this debt down. So yeah, no more foreign aid, no more, no more Mr. Nice Britain just now. We have got so many problems springing up all over the place. And, yeah, when we get our own money, then we'll see. Who we pissed off? None. Nothing's changed. Credit rating downgraded. We're now down to C. We're working on it. The global economy is in a recession. This is having a negative effect on our GDP, right? So, yeah, that's just the way it is in a... Human Rights Society says it's actively encouraging its members to oppose the current government. Yeah, they would. Beat it. Ah, oh, I wanted to see the rest of the options there, but never mind. Patriots gone up. Yeah, ethnic minorities gone down. So ghettos is feeding into an ethnic minorities. Border controls is uh, ethnic, going into ethnic minorities. Racial tension is going down there as well. Uh, I'm not going to change anything of that, because it pissed people off. What's this one? Import tariffs. I wanted to increase this a smidge, didn't I? Are you really going to do it for that? I'd want to be doing it for like, boom. Imagine that. Nearly a billion a quarter. Uh, revert. Oh, oh, shit, wrong button. Right, we ain't going to do that. Um, implementation, this is 100% implemented for the, uh, this is quite popular as well, seems like everybody's happy with that, poverty's going down, that's it, fully implemented, health is going up, so we're becoming a healthy nation, tobacco is not really affected by the GDP, health is going down because of it. We could probably tax it again. What about alcohol? Did I not have a look at alcohol? See if we can generate a little bit more cash. Poor. Might smidge like that. Poverty. Up. No. Uh, I don't know. Who else can we mess around with you? <laughs> it's no matter messing around, I am genuinely trying. That's almost, almost got this general strike away. Again, still the poor earners. Um, but the bus subsidies hasn't been fully implemented. Where is that? Is it that one? Yeah, it's not completely done. So I've got six turns in order to wait for that to be fully implemented. And once it is, commuters will go up, more go down. Bus usage up, poor Indians up. Capos to be a bit pissed off. Unemployment apparently goes up. No, down, down goes down. Uh, right, what else? What else? What else? What else? This technological backwater stuff. Science funding, technology. Let's have a look at the science funding. What's? Don't touch it. I can tell what's wrong here. Mate, you're really hurting me here. What's wrong with you? Show potential ministers for tax. Loyalty. Right up there. But she's not wanting to be in the tax. Experience there. 4.5. Geraton and Hermandes. Right, sorry, mate. Bye. There we go. Who's this? Law and order. Law and order. Show potential ministers law and order. There's one there. How you doing? I need somebody that's got a bit more loyalty. Like them. Not much experience, but 4.6, I mean. Dora Henderson. See ya. 
Get rid of the low fucking people. Foreign policy. Fucking shit, just get rid of him. Uh, fire, Bosh, bye. I'm gonna get a new one. Foreign policy. Hiya. You're in. Economy. See ya. Economy. You. Public services. Public services. There we go. Why is this political power going down? Right, that'll do there. Right, I'm not going to mess around with that any further. I'm back down to 10. I want to try and kind of keep some going over. State housing. Poverty goes down, capitalist goes down. Can we afford to lose anything from our capitalists? Nah. No more. They say no more. State health service. Income tax. What's up with income tax? 133 billion we get from that. What happens if I punch that up a bit? No, I shouldn't really be fucking around with that, to be honest. That would piss so many people off. And we'll lose so much money, so, yeah, not touching that. Uh, next up, let's see. Plastic bag tax, capital gains tax. Corporation tax. 16 bill. No. See, everything, this is the thing, you need the capitalists, the capitalists obviously generate the jobs, and with them, you know, if you tax them, they're going to be like, well, that's great, see you, do you know what I mean, and then that just kind of the whole, the whole boss burst then. You're spinning plates, that's all you're doing, spinning plates. I don't know how to, where else to kind of put money in. Child benefit. I mean, you're doing everything you can for these guys. Legal drug consumption. What is that? Was there not something I could have put in there? Recreational drugs tax. <laughs> Enterprise investment scheme. She would, uh, I don't know. That's not going to be happy with the poor class. Health food subsidies. Disease. I don't want to be adding too much into it. The only one that I can see there that could uh, help out is this investment one. Uh, 146 million. Micro generation grants, 122 million. This one, 12 million. 100%. Right, we'll add that and put it down to the lowest. And then we'll just apply that and see what happens. And we'll it, just skip into the next quarter. What is it lonely at the top, man? The fuck's up? There really is no room for friends at the top of the government, and your constant dismissal of ministers shows that you take that attitude to heart. Yay! <laughs> right, okay, unemployment up. Fucking hell. Unemployment up. Crime up. This is because of this debt shit. Right, one of your ministers... 
Troy Haynes currently working as your transport minister is tired of serving in your government and may wish to leave their position, possibly politics altogether. You may be able to persuade them to stay by taking steps to further please their core supporters, ethnic minorities and conservatives. Right, okay, I'm working on that. Debt crisis. Our level of government debt has started to cause severe fiscal problems. The government debt has pushed interest rates so high that our mortgage costs are becoming unaffordable for the middle class. At the same time, fears about possible government default on its debts are giving way. Uh, where was that? Are driving away business investment from overseas, affecting our GDP. These fears are also affecting small and large businesses alike. Yeah, it went straight above that trigger. Right, we'll need to sort that one out. Curb banking bonus. There's an urge. Uh, yep. Yeah, restrict those banks. I'm fucking all against that. If, if banks are crashing, you shouldn't be paying their CEOs bonuses. So basically, curb banking bonuses. There have been calls in the media for government to do something about big bonus payments being made to company CEOs despite failing profits. In cases where companies have failed to make a profit, the government has been asked to force companies to withhold bonus payments from top executives. So the two choices are restrict the bonuses for too long the bonus culture among CEOs has been left to run out of control. Bonuses are supposed to be rewarded for businesses' success, but top bank executives are taking unearned bonuses while cutting staff numbers. We need a law that prevents companies from paying a bonus in years where they have failed to turn a profit. And the other option is to do nothing. It's easy to be critical of people earning large salaries and bonuses, but the fact is we live in a globalised world and top bonuses are needed to attract top talent. This is unnecessary interference by government and the corporate pay structure and will hurt our competitiveness. Now, the way I see it, there's a fairly large company right now that you probably know about, everybody's heard about it in the news, and that's Thomas Cook. Thomas Cook went bust big style, and they were in billions in debt. But yet, the year before all that, they were still paying their CEO and their top executives bonuses, even though the company was failing. Now, for me, I'm going to say restrict those bonuses. That doesn't happen. That does not happen on my watch. So, let's see what else. Wow, we've just dropped down to 4%. We were at 30, we're now down at 4. Supportive, passable. Somebody's considering their thing. You're in the middle of your term, government, and the current size of the National Party is zero. The opposition party has more members than us. Yeah, that happens. It's going to be it's a tough crawl, man. Tough crawl at the top. Still got the strike. Lots of things to work on here. And then I've got this guy, this this dude that's in my cabinet who's thinking about leaving. Right. Foreign pause. I'm gonna reshuffle my cabinet. I need people who are wanting to be here. So let's go for foreign policy. Higher. Let's go for welfare. Let's go for economy. Tax. Public services. Law and order. Okay, right now we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting to the bottom of the pile. There's people that are really pissed off at me for some reason. <laughs> Probably because I keep firing everybody. And transport. I'm sure there was one somebody that was quite loyal. No. Troy Hayes, I'm pretty sure I hired him before. Right, there we go. So that cost us 10. In the fucking grand scheme of things, I shouldn't be dicking around with this stuff. Self-employed, down, debt crisis. This debt crisis here. Oh my god. How the fuck do we solve this? Our level of government debt has started to cut. Wait, there, no, there was something that I could have implied. Where the hell was that? That fucking make magic money. <laughs> Where was that again? Where's the magic money one? Money supply, there it was there.
god damn. Oh my god, I don't know. Ah, I'm doing it. I can't do that, can I? Oh man, we are, there's so much scatterbrain shit going on here. What we'll do is we'll quickly advance on this year because I can't do anything else. The popularity is kind of fucking boom, straight down like that. Peaked at thirty-three. What's wrong with everybody? Is I'm sure focus groups. Is there a way of seeing this? Socialist, look at that, I'm more liberal and socialist I think. I think that's what it's trying to say. By turn eight. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I need more cash, man. This is killing us. This, these people keep, sh oh, we're down, we're below it. So people shouldn't be fucking striking. Go away. Stop striking. Bastards! Implementation of time, but what? That's not it. Yes. Should be gone. This <laughs> fucking bang. It's hard, dude. It's really hard. Uh, right. Let's advance. See what how our time gets. See what happens now. Crime up. Celebrity endorsed. We live in a celebrity obsessed age. Normally we criticise this phenomenon, but not today. Top star has gone on the record saying, You're doing a superb job. This is going to reflect nicely on your approval ratings. Yay! General strike is now at an end, thankfully. It's great news for the economy. Poverty's gone up. Uh, the global economy is in a recession. Budget report, we're still at sea. Polls, we're now up. Uh, you would, what is that? Your approval is disappointing. If we believe the polls, you would get 6% of the vote. National Party is 31,000. The opposition has probably more than us. Okay, so that ends the end uh, of this episode. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's, it's tough, man. It is. It's tough at the top, as it says. It's lonely. But uh, yeah, if you've got any comments, suggestions, get them in the comments box below. I will st probably start incorporating most of them. If we, if we want to keep this going uh, in episode 6, we probably fail before then. Uh, next episode's 5. Right, we could probably do it. We could probably do it. Um, but uh, yeah, give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. And if you want to see more of me and more videos like this, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And I will speak to you all in episode 5. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.